How's it everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Ride Bikes Be Happy. I'm Conrad Davies and today we're going to talk about South Africa and why it might be the best destination to ride a mountain bike, or any bicycle for that matter, in the whole world. So let's roll that intro. Today is National Heritage Day in South Africa, which means it's a public holiday or a bank holiday or a, a Feiertag if you're in Germany. People are free to, uh, they, they don't go to work. And they generally celebrate the day with what's called a braai. People in Europe call it a, a grill, people in America call it a barbecue, people in Australia call it a barbie. It's basically uh, a chance to get outside, drink some beer, burn some meat or whatever you want to eat and uh, and celebrate together. And that's really a big part of the South African culture. I think the celebrating together thing is is something South Africans really enjoy doing and Heritage Day really celebrates. There's so many diverse um, cultures in South Africa, there's so many different colours of people in South Africa and at its root everyone is accepted which is a really great thing about South Africa. Black, white, Indian, coloured, that's allowed to be said in South Africa. Whether you're male, female, transgender, it's, you know, South African people are pretty much over being negative about outward appearance. And um, at its root, many people are just very accepting of one another, which is one of the things I guess I miss about South Africa. But South Africa has its problems too, and some of them are a little bit too hard to handle, and that's why we're here at the moment in, in Germany. But this channel is called Ride Bikes Be Happy, so it's not a very political channel. I talk about bicycles, and that's, that's one of the great things about South Africa is the, the cycling culture is awesome. If you go there, the first thing you'll notice is that people are much more kind of cycling centric. So you'll also notice that South Africans are quite competitive. So there's a lot of racing in South Africa, which is really cool because they're relatively low entry fees for the races and you can basically go to a race every weekend if you try. Um, so there's like this traveling circus of races that happen. Obviously now this year with COVID, it hasn't happened as much, but it's starting to take off again in South Africa. There's more racing happening again. And there's, there's everything to choose from, from downhill and uh, enduro riding to marathons and cross country racing. There's uh, school series where they encourage kids in schools to partake and be competitive at, at schools level. And, and that's really cool. So there's a culture of racing and it doesn't matter, matter whether you're black or white or male, female, it doesn't matter. It's it's a, it's a culture of racing, there's lots of racing, and there's even pretty good prize money to be had at a lot of these races, so that's, that's really cool. So why is South Africa such a great riding destination? Well, to me, there's three very important things. One, the sun shines a lot. So when you go in South Africa's summer, Europe's winter, um, or South Africa's winter, Europe's summer, the chances are that you can go and ride a bicycle in relatively warm conditions. So that's one huge draw card. The second is the diversity of trails. There's all sorts of trails across South Africa, whether you're in the east riding pretty much at the Durban beach at places like Hollow Trails or a little bit uh, further inland at the beautiful Karkloof Country Club where you can ride amazing trails for days on end. Whether you're in Kauteng at the central bike parks, there's tons of little trail centers as we call them, where you, you basically go in, you sign your indemnity and you know, buy your insurance and spend a day out on the trails there and the trails are again amazing. Or if you're all the way over to the west side of South Africa in Cape Town around Table Mountain there's amazing trails, there's bike parks uh, with shuttle lifts and stuff like that so you can ride, ride a downhill bike there, you can ride enduro, you can ride cross country, you can ride marathon. You can take a tour around the city. Literally, there are so many different things that you can do on a mountain bike or bicycle, basically, around South Africa, which is why so many of the pros end up in South Africa over the off season for Europe, because the weather's great. It can get pretty hot in summer, which is obviously our winter, but it's not unbearably hot. It's possible to, to, to cope. And the best part about it is that in summer, you can go for a a couple of hours on the bike ride and then you can you can go down to the beach and swim in the ocean which will also make an amazing day so it's uh, there's a lot of everything to do which is great so let's have a look at some of the trails my favorite trails in my memory from south africa i'd be lying if i didn't say that joe to see is probably the best most recent memory of riding in south africa it's, it was awesome and proof that you could ride pretty much halfway across south africa on 
some of the most awesome trails in the country. 250 kilometers of single trail. It was absolutely awesome. And of course, Peter Maritzburg, Cascades, Mountain Bike Park here. Greg Monard's finishing his uh, winning run at World Championships. I rode this track every other weekend when we lived down there, and wow, amazing memories. Kharkloof was a rare treat. We lived pretty close by, but it was pretty tough to get up there from time to time, so we, we went up when we could, and oh wow, the trail's there, totally off the hook. And then last here, Giba. Giba was right around the corner from where we lived when we lived in KZN. There are tons of other great trail parks around, but Giba has amazing memories for me because we literally lived five minutes away from the place and rode there all the time. The other great thing about riding in South Africa is that you could actually bump into one of your heroes, whether it's Greg Minar, uh, in Peter Maritzburg training on his basically his local track. Uh, Andrew Nietling in Cape Town, uh, Johan Pothita around Cape Town, or even international heroes. Like I said, a lot of international riders spend a big part of the South African summer in South Africa training. So people like Nina Schurter, Brendan Faircloth, you could bump into them at any point on the trails. And then of course the third positive for tourism is that the South African currency isn't that strong, but it's not that weak. So um, at the moment it's about 20 to 1 for a euro, which is terrible for South Africa, but it's, it's good for somebody who's traveling over there. The borders are about to open up again. I believe international travel is going to become possible, so you could go to South Africa on holiday now, where if you took a thousand euro with you, you'd have 20,000 rand in your pocket. That's a lot of money. Um, you could stay in three-star bed breakfasts or four-star bed breakfasts quite easily for two weeks um, and have money to go out for dinner every single night and have a really lavish time. But on average it's about 10 to 1. So when it's at 10 to 1 the economy is in pretty good condition. People are doing okay. People are relatively happy. Um, and during that time, I mean you, you take a thousand euro, you're taking 10 grand worth of pocket money with you. So you pay for your flights at, you know, at like 600 euro a ticket, 700 euro a ticket return. And once you've done that, if you take another thousand euro with you for two weeks, you've got plenty of money to, to do tons of stuff. Trail parks are available. You can ride for free all over the place anyway. There's tons of places to go and ride for free. Food is relatively cheap and really, really good quality. So the cuisine, the South African cuisine, we have a very meat and potatoes based diet, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. The food is, is crazy good. If you're in Cape Town you can eat fresh fish basically caught in the harbour that morning uh, for dinner. Um, the, if you're not into meat and fish, the locally grown vegetables and fruit are incredible quality, especially if you're in the Cape Town area, you're getting stuff they picked yesterday on your table at the restaurant today, that's, that's how good it is. If you've got the opportunity to go to South Africa to ride a bicycle or just to go to South Africa to travel, uh, you definitely shouldn't say no. It's a, it's a really cool culture. You'll meet really friendly people. You'll eat amazing food. You'll experience an incredible nightlife. And if you take a bicycle and ride, or if you rent a bicycle in South Africa and ride, you'll experience some of the best trails in the world. So. Okay, gorgeous. Oh. Oh. The spring has arrived in Southern Africa. But of course the riding culture and the bike culture here in Germany isn't all bad um, and the sun does shine and it's, it's really beautiful when you get out on the trails. So uh, I'm really grateful for that. I must admit I, I try to ride with Eliana as much as humanly possible. We get out and ride on the hills around where we live and it's, it's really beautiful out there. Winter's about to come so riding will become a little less frequent I'm sure for Eliana but I'm going to keep trying to ride through winter. And while we're at it, I'm uh, showing you a little bit of 360 video here. Next week, I'm going to have a review of the GoPro Hero Max. So look forward to that. This is one of the trails that we rode uh, during our Dreiborgen race. Um, and we really enjoyed going up there and riding it again this last weekend. The sun was shining and we 
we got out and rode and it was really fun so uh, enjoy it so 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 it's a flat day so it's a flat day we call it a bright day and we do it our way cause it's some sensei it's so sensei cause every times are so natural in our country the rata sunshine so pull out your smiles come on let's have a fun time i call deva and sgc cause in sa the yellow says so fun As you can see, it's not all bad here in Germany. Uh, the weather's actually really beautiful today. It's about 23 degrees, uh, which is really warm for an autumn day in Germany. Uh, it's, uh, I'm pretty grateful for that, watching all my friends in South Africa enjoying the spring, getting warmer and enjoying their rides and thinking about swimming and things like that. And I'm thinking about ski season. Thanks for listening to my story. Uh, if you made it this far, you probably like what you saw, so click the like button, consider subscribing. And to all my friends back in South Africa, happy National Heritage Day. Enjoy the braai. Don't drink too much. Ride your bike. Be happy and uh, cheers. Till next time. Feel all right, all right. Right, please.